What's beyond this door? Another door. It, it won't open. You just looked at it. Richter must have sealed it off. Then, what should we do? I feel a draft. There must be another passage somewhere. Perhaps you should use the sorcerer's ring to examine the walls. What's that? There, on your finger. Huh? That ring was given to you by Lord Ratatosk as a symbol of your pact. Magical power dwells within it. But I'm a human. Only elves and half-elves can use magic. Don't worry. That ring can be used by humans as well. Really? I guess I'll try it out. Obtain sorcerer's ring. Press R1, oh, okay. And then press X to use it. The cursor will be larger on locations where the sorcerer is ring. Okay, cool. I wouldn't say it's obtained, I would say it, oh, hi. So, Tenebrae, somewhere along the way I got all new clothes. I see you finally noticed. I've been wondering when you would bring it up. I noticed right away. It just never seemed like a good time to ask. Along with the sorcerer's ring, those clothes are a symbol of your pact with Lord Ratatosk. It's vital that a knight of Ratatosk present himself with a certain degree of elegance. Right. The outfit's fabric is prepared with a number of special incantations and hexes that make the garment waterproof, wrinkle-free, and mold-resistant. The design is meant to evoke Lord Ratatosk's fierce bravery and his subtle grace. The effect is mesmerizing. Wait a sec. One other question. Yes? What happened to the clothes I was wearing before? That is the darkness... Uh... I'm sorry, uh, forget I said anything. The darkness is what? <laughs> hey, come on! That floor is gonna skin me alive if I lose those clothes! <laughs> <laughs> Only the darkness knows. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I know there's a... Um, I know there's a treasure back here, maybe? I'm gonna go check, and if I'm wasting my time, well, that sucks. I can just cut it out, and yeah. Uh, with this examine. There seems to be something here. I guess I should use that thing. Tenebrae said. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's already large. Here. This, there's a switch underneath it. Nice. Press it. That's cool. It's a lot easier to use it on the Wii because it's a cursor and you can just aim it. But at least, eh. I don't think it's a huge mechanic. Got mittens. Can I equip him? I need to cook me up some... Oh, I guess I can't. Well, we're gonna go back to wherever advancing the story goes. Ah, oh. an imp. It will do nicely. Let us forge a pact. Pact? Your power as a knight of Ratatosk is granted to you by Lord Ratatosk himself. However, he is currently in a deep slumber. As a result, the power he grants you is very weak. This is weak? No way! Lord Ratatosk is very powerful. As you gain experience and grow your abilities, it's crucial you continue to unlock more of his strength. But how am I supposed to do that? It's simple. We Centurions share a bond with Lord Ratatosk. If power is restored to the Centurions, Lord Ratatosk's strength will return as well. We can accomplish this by forging pacts with monsters. How does that work? As I explained earlier, Centurions do not engage in battle themselves. We use monsters under our control. A Centurion's power depends on the number and strength of the monsters it employs. I am the Centurion of Darkness, so any pact you make with dark elemental monsters will bring them under my control and make me more powerful in the process. So the more monsters I get on my side, the stronger I'll become? That's correct. But how do I make a pact? Like this. What are you doing? In order to make a pact, you must first prove you are more powerful than your opponent. You must force them to yield to you in battle. You didn't tell me I'd have to fight! I just did. Ah, it approaches. Wait! Bruh. <laughs> Emil, you got this. You got 
Raditas's power. Some arts have elemental attributes. Okay. I actually need to read this. Uh, how do I advance through the text? Okay. The elemental grid on the bottom left will change when you use any art with an elemental attribute. Does Demon Fang have an... I don't think so. There are three minor and major elements to the elemental grid. Three identical minor elements... No, we'll change the major el Oh, okay. A pack screen will be displayed when a monster is defeated, when the major and four minor elements are the same. Okay. As it ends the- okay. Should have never gone against me. Yeah, I got an imp's tail. Gross. I got your tail, buddy. Join me. Red-eyed Emil is so fucking cool. Oh, that's it? Okay. Cools. Well done. You have made the imp your ally. Hey, Aqua is a centurion too, right? Will I get stronger if she has more monsters under her control? No. Aqua has chosen to sever her bond with Lord Ratatosk. As such, even if she acquires more monster servants, your powers will not increase. Damn. But there are other centurions, right? Yes, you will learn about the others in due time. But you may enter into packs with monsters without the Centurion of the same element. Later, when you befriend the appropriate Centurions, your strength will increase accordingly. I get it. That's nice and everything, but I only became a Knight of Ratatos because I needed to fight now. I'm not really interested in getting any stronger than this. Now, now, there's no harm in arming yourself with a little information. Yeah, that's the right attitude. Also, to make pacts, you will need the pact magic appropriate for each monster. Really? Yes. When you have subdued a monster that you wish to make your ally, I will cast the pact magic. I'm not sure I understand, so I'll leave it to you. That's fine. Ghouls. Ah, now there's a wolf. Just what we're looking for. Try making a pact with him. But I just made a pact with a monster! Yes, but I'll teach you a way to make forming pacts easier. There's an easier way? Yes, you can make monsters under your control fight beside you. If your ally and the enemy are compatible, the pact will go more smoothly. Add the imp you gain to your combat roster, and then try fighting the wolf. Okay. Unison- oh, that's what it's called, unison attack. I should get my unison up by getting free hits on you. Like that blue bar. You'll be my friend. Ow. 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 Okay. Wait, am I invincible? I am invincible. I keep forgetting I have Demon Thing. Devil's Maw's dog. Okay. Looking at that icon. I can do it again. It's over. Perfect. Should have never gone against me. Yeah. We did it. Join. Uh, you can strengthen the pack magic with the monster if you're ally monster. Oh uh, yeah, let's do it. That's convenient. I think we already saw this. Yeah, let's 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 skip this. Cool. I thought he would do some like major backflip and then he'll blast him with well good done. energy that'll make now him join me. Also our ally. Yeah, cool. Why is making packs easier depending on the monster you have fighting with you? Monsters have compatibility with each other. The type and strength of the monsters you befriend also have an effect on packs. Make sure to experiment with this yourself. Okay. You. You'll be my friend, Spider-Man. Ooh. Oh shit. Crap, I don't have enough, uh, unison. Are you dead? You are dead. Ow, okay. Ow. 
Jeez Louise, you hurt. Ow. <laughs> you fucking hurt, man. That was too easy. I'm level four, and I learned Havoc Strike. Cool. Havoc Strike. I think I said Havoc Strike, because... Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna use items, because I'm pretty low. Uh, apple gel. You. Eh, it's not a lot, but it'll have to do. Um, let's see. Status? No? Wait. Did I change? Yep. I had a frat task. Strategy. Oh. Oh, cool. Change strategy. Um. I don't know. You just. Everyone attacks freely. Cool. And. Art. Okay, that's what I was gonna do. Mmm. Havoc strike. Let's go. Left and right. Perfect. Okay, hi, Wolf. Oh, well done. Th that monster joined us? Bravo! Huh? Beautiful, fantastic, simply excellent. I must admit, I am quite impressed. Really? Of course, that monster is ideal for beginners. I would be rather concerned if you had failed. <sighs> well, thanks, Tenebrae. Ass- oh, okay, he turned around at the last second. Uh, how do I switch targets? How do I switch targets? Um... Oh, here. Oh, nope. Here. Ow. Ow. Ooh. Ow. <laughs> These guys hurt. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, hold up. I gotta heal. Um. Jeez Louise. Apple gel. Me. Okay, let's go. It's over. I need to get used to the battling. I'm getting shit on. That was too easy. Eh, not really. Ooh, a black bat may join you. Heck yeah. Um, M. Oh cool, you joined! Nice! Alright. I'm gonna go save before I die. Oh, hi, spider friend. Uh, I'll fight you. Let's press on. I'm dying. Hi. There seems to be something here. I guess I should use that thing. Oh. Alright, let's do this. There's a switch underneath the moss. Why can't you just... Press it through the moss. The wall opened. This may lead to where we need to go. Let's proceed. Okay. Perfect. Um. Oh, hi. Fire. Still don't know why you can't press under, but whatever. Using magic is fun. Hello, I got a cape. Can I equip that? Equip, equip, equip. Nice. Perfect. Even though it doesn't affect me cosmetically. But it's fine. I already look cool enough. I don't need more... more accessories on my default look. Got apple gel. Okay. Gremlin and a pa Oh, whatever. Hi. Oh shit, that guy was targeting me. Oh no, bad! Bad friend! No! Oh my gosh! Okay. You're too weak. Thought I was gonna die. Gremlin, join me. Um, imp. Okay. I didn't know there was a chance of failing, but whatever. Oh my goodness, my health is low. I'm gonna go save and heal up. Alright, we are healed up. Anyone wants to face me? No? Oh. 
A door. Okay. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Don't- oh my- don't- ah, uh, I wasted a lot of time. That door leads- oh, Richter! Richter! Ugh. Hang on, H how did this- I was... careless... Lloyd. Huh? Lloyd Irving. He- Lloyd? You mean the servant of the Chosen of Regeneration? The core. He. Richter! It's all right. The attack missed his vital organs. So he'll survive? Yes. Just leave him here and he will be fine. It is more important to go after Lady Marta. Leave him here? We can't do that. We need to at least tell someone. There's no time. Now that Lloyd has appeared, time is of the essence. Lady Marta's life is in grave danger. After all, this man is the enemy. Didn't you come here to protect her? I did, but I can't just leave him like this. Richter said some mean things, but he also helped me. I can't just abandon him now. Go on ahead and find Marta. I'll follow you as soon as I can. I believe you will regret this decision, but it is yours to make. Hey, Richter. Unconscious does not respond. Never forgive him. Damn, Lloyd. How could he do that to Richter? First he took my mother and father from me, and now he's hurt Richter. I won't let him get away with this. Let's do it. Let's beat him up. I need to get someone. What? Oh, I wonder if Aqua's awake. Let's go. Okay. All right, Aqua. Go help my boyfriend out. So that I could help my yet-to-be girlfriend while you're awake. What's up? Aqua, you have to come with me. Huh, you expect me to just go with you after what happened? That doesn't matter right now. Richter's been hurt badly. Lloyd attacked him and... What? Lloyd? I think he'll live, but I'm still worried. Hurry and help him. You came back to tell me that? Hmm, you're not half bad. Nowhere near as cool as Master Richter, but still... Just come! Alright, now we can go, right? Let's go beat the fuck out of Lloyd. I was so pumped. And then it's like, nope, I got- Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, Richter. What's up? Master Richter! Aqua, how is he? He'll be fine. He took a sword to the back. But that's not the reason he collapsed. It's the wound from two years ago. What happened? If you weren't my enemy, I'd tell you. Anyway, leave Master Richter to me. Alright, time to find Marta. Lloyd's after her. I better hurry. Finally, thank you, Emil. Shit. Let's go. Oh, save point. Nice. Let's go. I don't know how, he, how many times I said let's go kill Lloyd. Because there's so many fucking delays, but let's go! Lloyd! Lloyd Irving, why are you here? Who are you? Why did you kill them? Emil! My mother and my father, and all those people in Pamacosta. Why did you have to kill all of them? <gasps> Not again. With Pamacosta. How dare you say that? What do you mean, again? I'll never forgive you for that! Ooh, I am goosebumping. Let's go. Oh, shit. Alright, nice try. Oh, what? One damage? Okay. Okay. 
Whatever. Okay. <laughs> okay. I got shit on. I only did one damage to him. I'm alive. I guess he decided not to kill us. Lady Marta, Centurion Lumen's core is... It's gone! Uh, are you talking about a white jewel? I, I think that Lloyd took it with him. He took it? Are you sure? Yeah. Was it important? Yes. Centurion Lumen's core is essential to our journey. Lady Marta, let's hurry. You and I must go after them. <sighs> okay, but first... Thank you so much, Emil. I really appreciate you saving me once again. I didn't do anything. I mean, I was pretty much useless. But you did save me. You became a knight. A knight of Ratatosk. That's why you were able to save me, right? I always thought that you would make a wonderful night. It's true. That's what I thought ever since the first time we met. You what? <laughs> it's okay. I guess that it just wasn't as memorable for you. But honestly, I'm very grateful to you for saving me. What would I have done without you? Uh, um... Lady Marta, we must hurry. Yes, you're right. Emil? Would you help us? Just until we make it out of this place? Uh, sure. Marta is kind of a strange girl. Uh, strange, but cute. What's this? What's this? It looks like the mask that Lloyd was wearing. I d didn't see him wear a mask, but whatever. It's pretty tacky. Super tacky. Tacky, indeed. <laughs> okay. I got Lloyd's mask. Is that even significant? Uh, items. Uh, d -d 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 Lloyd's mask. A mask worn by Lloyd. Pretty tacky. Interesting. I can't do anything with it. Ooh, Marta's in my party, though. Neato. And she's a light. She's light, okay. Um. Ooh, uh. Da, da, da. You know, I'm pretty cool with this party. Yeah. This party's great. Alright. Nope, no core. What's this? What's this? What is it? Okay. You don't examine it. This is an opening. I guess I'll have to go back where I came from. Okay. Going. Oh, what's this? Nothing sig significant. Okay. I like how I didn't examine that thing in the middle, too. It appears the door has been sealed from the other side. Damn! This must be Lloyd's doing. I'm sure he did this to trap us in here. There is a draft. There must be another way out. Let's have a look around. Oh, I know where to look. It's that picture. Right? Oh, masked man. This is Lloyd's mask. It's probably inspired by that play, The Phantom of the Operetta. You think so? It reminds me more of F for Feud. Is that the one with the twin brothers where the one is king and at the end they switch places? You're thinking of the man in the Illumina mask. How can you get those two mixed up? I have no idea what you two are talking about. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> Jewel Hunter Lloyd Irving is here. What's this? Ah, oh, that jerk! Set it on fire! Emil, burn it for her. Burn it? Oh, you mean that? <laughs> Best reaction ever. Gone. Boop. Oh wow, it just disappeared. It... Okay. I'll take it.
It opened. Great! Now we can go search for Lloyd. But I'm only able to pick up a small trace of Lumen. It may be too late to follow them. No. Is this Lumen's crew really so valuable that you'd fight over it? Oh, I guess a lot of this doesn't make sense to you. To put it simply, the Centurion's cores are the eggs of Centurions, like Tenebrae. Lumen's core is the egg of Centurion Lumen. You might say that cores contain Centurions in hibernation. And the core on my forehead is Ratatosk's core, and it's... The, the Demon Lord's egg? I told you he's not a demon! Perhaps we should take the time to explain all of this to Emil. True, but let's get out of here first. Alright. Oh. M. Mule. So, Marta, about this Ratatax? It's Ratatosk, not Ratatax. Oh, right. Um, so this Ratatax? His name is Ratatosk. Sheesh, what's the difference? What's the difference? How rude. How would you feel if someone were to call you a mule? Actually, my mule is quite the combination of strength and servility. <laughs> <laughs> well played, Lady Marta. Well played. So much for asking about Ratatosk. <laughs> oh, Lardacious. Why do you think Lloyd is collecting Centurion's course? Hmm. He could be trying to exterminate anyone who resists the Church of Martell. I bet it's something like that. Th that's why he's collecting them? I don't know. But in Paul Macosta... Paul Macosta? Never mind. Anyway, he's teamed up with the Church of Martell to oppress the people of Silverant. So he must be gathering the cores for some lousy reason or another. It makes me want to scream! Lloyd stands for lousy, with a capital L! Yeah, and that second L in his name stands for loser. Or even Lardacious. What does that mean? Beats me. I don't even know what it means. Alright, get this. Bandana. Nice. Ooh, can I equip that? Neato. Um, where are we? Oh, of course. This is where the Tower of Mana used to be. Lloyd and his companions came here on their journey of world regeneration. So it's a historical site for the Church of Martell. Right. No wonder there are hidden passages. And of course, Lloyd would show up. Oh, so Lloyd's friends in the Church of Martell guided him. It's only a guess. I'm unable to sense Lumen's presence. It appears that Lloyd has escaped. I guess we'll go back to Lewin for now. That okay with you? Uh, yeah. Oh, shit. My aunt and uncle is gonna... Yell at me. Oh well. Save. We're going on a trip in a favorite Lewin. Oh. Bear. Okay. Um Oh a treasure. Gimme. Got ten emil. What's ten emils? Ten emil. This doggy has bitten off more than you can chew. Transforms battlefield appearance. Does it? You, you're unlucky. We're gonna win! We are gonna win. Oh, it does change my appearance. Cool. What the hell is that on my head? That was easy. Oh, okay. That that's how it looks like. That's nice. Mm, but it's too silly. Uh, you know what? I'm sorry, Tenemil, but I'll just wear this regular bandana. Yeah. Uh, what's this? What is this? Oh well. Ooh, hello there, plant monster Pokemon you. Okay, Emil, sheesh. These guys are not Lloyd. Save that rage for when you fight him next time. We'll get stronger by then. Count on it. What's this? Red ribbon. Can Marta equip it? Okay, so there's different equipment for different people. Got it. Nice. Um Yeah, I can't I can't believe I just figured that out, but whatever. 
the equipment fact, I mean, to field. Ooh, a tower of mana. Mana, mana. I don't know how you say it. It's either mana, mana, or... Yeah. Why don't we take a break here? It'll give us a chance to explain to you about Ratatosk. Sure. I want to know what's going on. All right, then. How much do you know about the world before its regeneration by the chosen Colette? Um, nothing, really. I haven't played the first game. Not much. A brief explanation, then. Long ago, the giant tree that sustained our world withered, and the end of the world was upon us. The goddess Martell and the hero Mythos managed to prevent this destruction by dividing the world into two. But two years ago, Colette the Chosen successfully reunited the two separated lands by sprouting the new world tree to support the world. While the world was divided in two, Lord Ratatosk transformed into his core and became dormant. That's this core on my forehead, Ratatosk's core. You mean that's the Demon Lord Ratatosk's egg? Lord Ratatosk is not a Demon Lord. He was a summoned spirit of the Great Tree of Old and is the Lord of all monsters. In order to awaken Ratatosk, we have to first awaken all of his servants, the Centurions, by hatching them. That's why we're on a journey looking for the Centurions' cores. Why can't Ratatosk stay asleep? If he's asleep, nature will be thrown off balance and destroy the world. For instance, Ratatosk's sleep is the reason why Lake Sinoa has dried up. And without him around to oversee things, most monsters have cut ties with the Centurions they serve. So the monsters are running wild and causing the world's mana to fall out of balance. Even while Lord Ratatosk is dormant, the Centurions are supposed to form ties with monsters and maintain order. Yet the Centurion of Water, Aqua, has allied with Richter and is neglecting her duties. Which is precisely the reason why we have seen one water-related disaster after another. It's absolutely deplorable. If all this is true, then why do you have to fight? Lord Ratatosk is exceedingly powerful. Though they may not be as powerful as Ratatosk's core, Centurion's cores still possess remarkable powers. Some people are trying to get the cores for their own selfish reasons. Lloyd and Richter are among those people. Lady Marta recovered Ratatosk's core from them. But somehow, the core managed to attach itself to my forehead. To tell you the truth, it's a bit frustrating. Do you understand now? Yeah, I guess. But I still can't believe Richter would do something like that. That actually clears up a lot. I'll drop out of sight, since my presence may draw unwanted attention. Oh, hey! You're not one of the monsters that attack the people in town, are you? <laughs> of course not. Those monsters were lured to the village by Lumen's core. When Centurions are in their core state, they're unable to control their powers. This results in the disruption of the mana balance and throws nature into chaos. That's why I don't want to give the core to Lloyd or Richter. I guess Centurion's cores are nothing but trouble. How rude. Alright, why don't we go to your house for now? Oh, um, we should first go tell the mayor what happened with Richter. Okay, maybe we can ask him about Lloyd, too. Let's go. Yeah, I don't want her to see me being yelled at by my aunt and uncle. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I like that attitude. Let's go save. First, though. 